Welcome back to my channel, my name is Nick, and I make videos about my time living abroad. And this video is about my time living in Guatemala. So I've been living in Guatemala for three months, almost three months, coming up on three months. Um, I have to leave pretty soon, actually, because you only get 90 days to live here. Um, actually, I'm going to be here for like 94 days, so I have to go get to, I have to go to the immigration office and get my, uh, my visa renewed for a f uh, for an extended amount of time. I'm going to pay a little fee, uh, but it's not really a big deal from what I hear, so I'm going to do that later this week. Uh, because I couldn't find any plane tickets out of the country uh, for an affordable amount until like a week after uh, my visa expired. So that's part of uh, uh, the situation. Hopefully it goes fine and I'll give an update about that as well. Uh, but my life in general in Guatemala City specifically, I did not come here to go to Antigua or in like Atalan or any of those. I came to be in the real city, the, the capital of the country, uh, Guatemala City. And a lot of people have like negative associations with Guatemala in general, thinking that it's like a third world country, that it's super dangerous. And I would say my time here has been incredibly pleasant. Uh, it is not that dangerous depending on where you go, right? There are uh, lots of zones in Gua Guatemala City, um, maybe 20 something zones, something like that. And there are maybe like five of them that are considered like safe zones, quote unquote. And that's where I have been. Um, you know, if I'm going to any other city in the United States, I'm definitely going to a safe area, right? If I'm going to New York City, I'm going to safe uh, parts of the city. I'm not going to, uh, you know, dangerous neighborhoods that are crime ridden and things like that. So it would be the same anywhere else in, in, when you go out of the side of the country. And that has been my experience here. Currently, I'm living in zone four, which is kind of considered the hipster area. I live in an apartment complex zone called Ku. Um, so it's Q U E, or sorry, Q U O. Um, it's Ku. Um, <laughs> when I moved here, I thought it was Quo, but it's Q. Um, and it's been fantastic. And the way to describe my life here is boring, okay? I don't do much of anything. I really just enjoy uh, the amenities that I have in this apartment, which, if you want to know about that, I have a video about like my apartment tour and all that stuff, um, what it looks like to live in a high rise in Guatemala City and um uh, but it's been just real pleasant. Uh, things that are really cool about this place is that it has um, lounges in the apartment complexes for like just hanging out. There's a place, place you can play with the kids. Downstairs there's tons of restaurants. There is a grocery store. And then uh, monthly um, there is music. Sometimes twice a month there is live music out down in the plaza. Usually a cover band of some sort uh, playing some really fun uh, live music. There's a restaurant downstairs called Red Zebra. It often plays karaoke so on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday nights, you hear music blasting and people doing their karaoke. It's pretty cute. Across the building, there's two buildings in this cool uh, apartment complex thing. And uh, the other building I don't have access to, but I can see in there, and that one has like more business stuff. There's like a gym, there's office space. Uh, there's also um, places that you can rent the space out to like have parties. And there's parties every weekend. Uh, it can be birthday parties, um, celebration parties. There's just something going on all the time. And I have a direct access from my balcony to see it. So it's kind of cute. I see people dancing, I see DJs. Uh, people are just having a good time. Lots of balloons. Like, balloons are big here. People love balloons. So it's really fun to see people having a good time. Lots of laughing. laughing. Um, yeah, I, I really love this little area because it's just, you, you feel people being vibrant and happy. At lunchtime, you can hear people downstairs getting food and having lunch with their colleagues or their friends. And it's just nice. Your dogs having a good time playing with each other. It's just very pleasant. I often see two, like, with my apartment complex, uh, or my, sorry, with my uh, Airbnb, this is an Airbnb that I'm renting, it comes with a monthly cleaner. So if someone comes once a month, cleans the apartment from head to toe, we leave for a few hours, let them do that. And then on my balcony, I can see other apartment complexes or other apartment apartments, excuse me, they have cleaners as well. So cleaners are very common here. It's just like a normal thing to have someone come clean your apartment. Uh, typically it's a woman, it's usually it's a young or middle-aged woman coming to clean the apartment. So yeah, that seems to be just common part of the culture is like you hire someone to clean your place. There is lots of security everywhere. So this apartment complex, there is always at least four security guards and two of them are usually armed. So, and I've, even one time I saw someone with a shotgun. So like, I was like, well, seriously, is there a crime thing going on? Is a crime wave or something? But yeah, there's always security. They usually have a gun and they're just walking around, you know, just making sure nothing's happening. No one seems to be in fear by this or scared. Everyone's just living their life, doing their thing, but there's just a ton of security all the time. I think the most security I've seen is maybe like six security officers and not all of them are armed, but like six people walking around just policing. And I think at night, 
uh, there's at least one person who sta stands around and makes sure that things are good. Um, but yeah, security, and not just in Quo, uh, or sorry, Ku, um, even when I go other places, security is rampant everywhere. Uh, at least in the zones that I'm going to, which are the safe zones. So, and they're safe because they're security. There's people there with guns, handguns, mach uh, uh, shotguns, machine guns, ready if something were to pop off. So there is, you know, definitely a, maybe a history of violence here. But if you live in a, a more affluent area, it's not happening because there is security there. There is a barrier to that, that kind of. Uh, activity when i think about the clothes here at least like i've seen a variety of clothes i've been to different zones i've been to the mall i've been to walmart <laughs> i've been to a lot of different places uh and i would say that guatemalans dress incredibly modestly right unless you're going to the gym right but there are occasionally younger people usually younger women who show a little bit more skin um have like a halter top or a tank top or something like that but for the most part it is very much like a little bit more conservative in terms of how people dress um it just people are usually just fully covered um and people dress very well here like i came here with very limited clothes, lots of like moisture wicking shirts. Uh, like I don't have a lot of like fancy clothes and I feel very, very like dressed down here. Uh, everyone dresses really nice, impeccably. and uh, Everyone smells really good, lots of cologne and perfume. Um, people take a lot of pride in the way that they look. And it's nice to see. Overall, what else can I say about this place? Oh, other thing to note about not just Ku, but just in general, the food. Food here is incredibly good. I haven't had really any bad food. I think I can count on my hand maybe two places where the food wasn't like fantastic, but it wasn't like terrible. It just wasn't like amazing. I was like, eh, that's okay. Um, but I haven't had any bad food here at all. Uh, the thing that I would note about the food here is that it's not spicy. Their idea of spicy is like, barely a tangle for me i mean coming from mexico coming from the united states where we like really spicy food it is not spicy here they don't do spice they don't <laughs> they just i had a sandwich that was called spicy it was called like filet filete filetta spicy spicy melt and it it was like a barely i felt nothing you called it spicy you put on the name spicy spicy it wasn't spicy at all so that was cute um but yeah i would say the food is delicious it's, I haven't had a lot of traditional food to be honest. I've had just like sandwich. They, they love sandwiches here. Sandwiches, you know, rice, meat, um, pizza, uh, chicken sandwiches. Um, other, they cook, you know, just like any any other like metropolitan place. They have lots of different other people's types of food. You know, you go to the mall. It's gonna be a variety of food. You know, sushi, Mexican. Um, I don't know. Cajun, like burgers, pizza, like it's just like anywhere else. Um, and so far, I really enjoyed it. Um, everything's been incredibly tasty, not a lot of preservatives. Things aren't very salty and things aren't very sweet. I will notice that. They are very conscious about their health here. I've seen many a marathon here. Uh, people like to run and stay fit. Um, so people really care about their health in this country and it's been uh, fantastic. I really, uh, I really enjoyed living here. Um, I'm uh, I really like the weather. It's very much spring all the time. It rains sometimes, uh, but the weather is good. It's kind of humid sometimes, but it's not too hot, not too cold for me. And um, yeah, it's been it's been wonderful. I I, I look forward to, to coming back sometime in the future. Um, I have nothing but positive things to say about this country and um, haven't encountered anything negative. As of yet, I have another two weeks left here, two and a half weeks left. So maybe something negative could happen in those two and a half weeks, but so far two and a half months i've been here and shit's been good <laughs> things have been really good people are great people are nice yeah um oh i guess the only thing that i could note you could say it's a negative it's not there's not a lot of black people here i mean it's a it's a central american country there's just not a lot of black people there are black people but most of the black people i see typically are latin americans and then sometimes i'll see americans or canadians or what have you um every now and then uh but we're few and far between and i do get stares but not like negative stares more of like curiosity stares people go like oh didn't expect to see you here <laughs> but nothing no one really cares no one's like checking you for a about the time it's just a look of curiosity and then they go about their business so if that's the only negative thing I could say is that it's a very much a monoculture. There's not that much uh, diversity in Guatemala City, but I think that's changing. Um, it's a big city. I've seen, I've seen a lot of Asian people here. Um, I've seen quite a few white people here. Uh, so like you know, there is some diversity, but just not as much as uh, maybe in the United States. There.
that's the that's my synopsis love living in uh, Guatemala City and um, like I said I'm, I'm looking forward to coming back in the future all right thanks for watching